I don't think this was designed to be flown by a 250 kilo robot. Wait a second. Can't you fly anyway? Dear Tim and Moby, why do so many people talk about Leonardo da Vinci? Thanks, Anna. Well, it's because Leonardo da Vinci is worth talking about. He was a sculptor, architect, inventor, engineer, painter, scientist, mathematician. Actually, believe it or not, he did do some party planning. Leonardo is probably the best known example of a Renaissance man, someone who excels in many different areas. The Renaissance was a period of great cultural and scientific activity in Western Europe, especially Italy. The Italian Renaissance peaked during the 15th century, which is when Leonardo was born, near Florence, Italy, in 1452. As a teenager, Leonardo was apprenticed to a famous sculptor and painter named Verrocchio. In Verrocchio's Baptism of Christ, the kneeling angel at the left of the painting was painted by a 22-year-old Leonardo. The angel shows Leonardo's incredible promise as a painter. Well, he didn't produce a lot of paintings, but his influence is still huge. Even if you don't know that much about art, you're probably familiar with Leonardo's The Last Supper, depicting Jesus' final meal. And everyone knows the Mona Lisa, now hanging in the Louvre Museum in Paris, France. The Mona Lisa shows Leonardo's mastery of two techniques. Sfumato, in which colours are blended seamlessly and skillfully, creates a smoky, ethereal effect. And Chia Roscuro, which uses contrasts of light and dark to create a luminous, three-dimensional effect. But what most people remember about the painting is her expression, sort of... A weird cross between a smile and a frown. Leonardo's career as an artist led him to his interest in human anatomy. His drawings of muscles, organs, bones and even fetuses are not only really beautiful, but they also advanced our understanding of human physiology. Well, a lot of what we know about Leonardo comes from his notes and drawings. Thousands of pages of them still exist. Museums will often display a notebook or codex made up of these collected pages. They show Leonardo's fascination not only with anatomy, but with the stars and planets, animals, architecture, geography and fossils. They also demonstrate that as an inventor, Leonardo drew on his observations of the natural world to design mechanical wonders. Some of his drawings planned inventions for things that couldn't possibly have been built at the time. No, he kept them to himself, so most of them weren't made public until after his death in 1519. Even then, it was a long time before anyone could decipher his notes. Leonardo wrote in mirror script, which was written upside down and backwards. He wasn't crazy, he just wanted to protect his work. He also started way more paintings, inventions and other projects than he ever finished. If Leonardo had published his notes when he wrote them, they could have revolutionised European science. He understood better than anyone, for more than a century afterwards, how important observation was. That ability to observe led him to anticipate scientific discoveries like the circulation of blood, the movement of the eye, and the effect of the moon on the tides. As well as countless inventions, from the car to the tank to solar heat collectors. In fact, you may be interested to learn that the first design for a robot was drawn by Leonardo da Vinci. What? How did you know that? Oh, no way!